Chick-fil-A. Let's talk about it. Here's my problem with Chick-fil-A, okay? I can't say no to the fries and the milkshakes. The first step is admitting when you have a problem. And I, I have a problem. If I go to Wendy's, let's say, okay, hypothetically, as much as I like the fries and the milkshake, wait, I don't think Wendy's has milkshakes or the Frosty. As much as I like the Frosties at Wendy's or the fries at Wendy's, I have the willpower to say no. Like, I'll just get spicy chicken and call it good. At Chick-fil-A, I literally cannot say no to french fries or the milkshakes. I just can't do it. I cannot do it. I have a problem. I know I have a problem. And this is me admitting that I have a problem. For some reason at Chick-fil-A, the fries and the cookies and cream milkshake, I just... I have to have it. Not to say that Wendy's isn't good. I like Wendy's, but the Chick-fil-A waffle fries with the Chick-fil-A sauce and the cookies and cream milkshakes. How do you say no to that? Hey, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I take your order? Yeah, um, can I just get some chicken? Do you want fries with that? Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, yes. I mean, yes. How about a milkshake? Do you want a milkshake? Yeah. I, wait, I mean, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I do. That's my problem. Here's the thing. I would describe Chick-fil-A as, let's get the bill per good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how good it is. Whereas Wendy's, I mean, Wendy's is the same, too. But for some reason, Chick-fil-A is just, I can't say no.